Hi everyone and welcome to today's studio vlog. Um, I haven't had a chance to show you my new space yet that I've got now at home. Um, so I can close the door and I can spend time painting in my own space now and I'm really excited about that. So this is the piece that I'm currently working on and you saw an earlier part just in the introduction there and uh, at this point I haven't added some extra friends in this piece so um, but I really love this character I didn't really plan what I was going to be painting when I decided I need to paint in oils I've not done it for a long time and I just need to get on with it and just put my brush on the paper and um, or on the board and just start painting and um, so I was painting over an old artwork that I hadn't finished, I'd given up on. And so this little character here um, just came out of that. And I've been adding a lot of layers to cover what was on the background. So you've got this deer-like creature that is in some tall grass and has my characteristic bird in the head thing going on, symbiotic relationship. Um, these animals are my eco animals and they are harmonious with their environment and they provide security and um, and a place to live for some of the creatures around them so uh, that's what's going on in its head there which I haven't finished a bird yet usually as well they're always looking in the same direction as the character that they're in so you always notice that the birds uh, beaks um, are always facing the same way as the animal that they're in just to show camaraderie and community and um, same-mindedness basically um, in all that they're doing and uh, compromise and things like that so here I'm trying to lighten um, to start adding some of the lighter colors into this deer I have in mind what I want to do, so there will be more highlights going in. But um, here I'm just trying to add a lighter color onto what was underneath. And I'm learning to really try and be patient because this is quite a smaller brush that I'm using. Because if I want to have the details in my art piece, then I just have to be patient. So with this, uh, piece I'm trying to maybe take up to even a month working on it and just to take my time to let the layers dry from day to day and then to come back and add some more I am using water soluble oils so um, that helps them dry a little quicker but also I am using mediums that will allow um, the oil to dry even quicker than that still so Almost daily, I'm able to come and add gently another layer to this. Um, and I'm liking the result. Uh, oils are so uh, forgiving and it's working with understanding how you add the layers. I know in the past, I used to over apply the oil and it would blend and merge together and I wouldn't get the colors I wanted. But I'm now starting to get into the mindset that I should um, add the colors that I want gently and, and not go over them too much and just figure out how to blend them and to get that colorful kind of rainbow-like texture of, um, of the kind of skins or the kind of um, furs that I like. Because I always look at, when you look at fur, for example, it's not just one color, there's the um, reflections of the light around them from the different objects as well. So I love to have those kind of hints of different colors going through all my paintings. Um, so they tend to be quite colorful because I'll add these suggestions through everything. I mean, if you're looking at the nose here, there's some blue, there's some crimson, some violet. Um, there's a lot of things going on just on the snout of this deer and the eyes as well. I love to have the different colors reflected in the pupil. So um, that's what I'm playing around with here and trying to add a darker background to help the 
the deer stick out a little bit so I'm just adding some more color here but the more I work on it the 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 richer it's going to be so I plan to be very patient doing this but yeah so I haven't been on YouTube posting any of my art process recently and I'm of two minds because of this I, I feel like I'm trying to rush getting onto different platforms for um, yeah for that idea of um, getting my art out there a bit more so I'm trying to pull back a bit and try to understand what schedule I can keep up with because my schedule as a mum and doing school runs is not going to be the same as if you have a young individual who's found their um, their opportunity to use their skills now at this young age and is able to inject that into their life at a sooner stage than I had. So how do I make it work as a mum going through the everyday, you know, um, processes and still have time to paint and to film my process and uh, so a lot of the times I would try and put that in while they're at school but then also what was coming in was a self-doubt moment which was yes but you know um, how are you going to film it is your film is your footage going to be perfect as there's a lot of questions going on right now in my mind where I think I just need to share what I can and just relax and enjoy that whole process so um, I didn't film the rest of what I'd done with the painting but I've added a mouse at the bottom there and some mushrooms I've added this butterfly as well I've done a little bit more to the face so I was trying to put highlights in there the other day and you can see how colorful it is getting there's still a long way to go but I'm having fun and I will show you the process as it comes along but thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and i will speak to you guys really soon thank you for watching